Oh, look, it's a kitty in a basket. Hey, wake up. Wake up. Come on. Don't sleep all day. Wake up. Wake up, kitty. Huh? I want to play with you. What? <sighs> Don't you ignore me. Oh, yeah? I'll show you. If you need to evaluate a patient for a corneal injury, but you don't have a woods lamp, you can use your iPhone. On the back of your phone, you'll see the camera aperture and the LED, which is used for illumination and flash. Put a layer of scotch tape over the LED only, and then draw over it with either a blue Sharpie or a blue tissue marking pen. Do this two more times so you have a total of three layers of tape that you've colored in. Now turn on your flashlight app. Ooh, looks kind of ultraviolet-y, doesn't it? Use your fluorescein strips or fluorescein eye drops and take the patient into a darkened room and then turn on the flashlight app and you'll see clearly the fluorescein is fluorescing. The darker the room is, the better this will work. If you need to take a photograph of the patient's eye, either for their own records or to show another provider, you can take your camera and put it into forced flash mode. Once you take a picture, you can zoom in and zoom out as needed, and you can really see a lot of detail. Here we see the floor scene and the cornea, but also the patient's hideous liver spots, sagging eye bags, and glasses nose imprint. Always obey hospital guidelines when it comes to photographing patients. Music